Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Tokyo. I am uh, going to be giving you an update on the Kickstarter project. I thought this would be a great time to do that. I hope you're having a really good weekend. Uh, if you're in California, I hope that the forest fires aren't uh, impacting your your uh, August too much. I know that the situation around the world has been tough everywhere, which is why I'm doing this Kickstarter project. Begin with first of all, I want to say thank you to all of the backers that have been um, supporting this project since the start. We hit our goal after about ten minutes. Uh, sorry, ten days. Ten minutes would be a pretty good goal, but uh, after about ten days, and I'm I'm so excited to to in in the last up to, uh, up update to say uh, that we reached our goal and this event will go on, which is super super exciting. The stretch goal. I want to explain a little bit about that and also um, elaborate more on. Um, like where do we go from here? What is the stretch goal? As well as to show you uh, some samples of the of the towel and the uchiwa, and explain to you what the next stage is. Because as backers, you are critical to this operation. All right. First of all, here is the design for the poster. I I put this up last time, and I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on it. Um, this was done by Dakota, who is an artist in, in Gifu. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, look. There's the full-size one. And on the left side, I have only in Japan. It says Hanabi Matsuri 2020, the first annual. Do you see that number one? Um, and Dakota did an amazing job with the colors. And I'm going to see if I can get him to interview for the documentary as well, because um, the way that he made this, it's just really cool. I could turn it this way here. Do you see us down there? That's so cool. He did an amazing job, and it all came from a picture that uh, I took with Kanai on a date like about six years ago. And look at the old guy talking to Toby the Crow. I added, I asked if Dakota would, would add in a little bit extra, uh, maybe put a crow in there, and he said, okay. And there you go. The poster looks awesome. As you can expect for, from the Only in Japan series, I, I really try uh, hard to bring cool stuff. Uh, just like with the uh, the Kickstarter project that we last had, it was pretty cool. We uh, The DVD box set turned out pretty well. It just took a long time to do that. But this time I'm not alone. Uh, here are the Uchiwa fans. So we're we're working with this company. It's a Yukata Tao company here. And let me show you here. This is an Uchiwa. This is a Japanese fan. Um, it's not one of these that you fold out. They come like this. And often... You, when you go into the to the um, fireworks festivals, you'll put them inside of your OB in the back, and, and it's it, it's kind of and you just you, you pull it out just like a um, I don't know just like a like a utility belt, and you have a fan in there. And wh whenever you, wherever you go in the summer, you always have this because in the summer that's when fireworks take place. That's when you need one of these uchiwa. So you'll be getting one of these, and we're putting in the artwork, the poster, um, just fixing the size so it fits on the uchiwa. And that's going to be pretty cool. The company that makes the Uchiwa sent us some samples. This one has a uh, Mr. Das um, approved, no, un not approved, Kirin beer on it. And another sample that they have has this really pretty pattern on it. And they show they put the event details on it. So there's two sides to it. The first side will have the event poster. And the second side, maybe um, some pictures from the event. It'll be a way for us to remember uh, this amazing um, festival that we're putting on. So these are Uchiwa. These are included in the summer pack, which is the uh, solo, the couple, the family, and the deluxe. You get a bunch of these. The deluxe, um, I guess you would you would buy the deluxe if you're wondering if you usually you will get these uchiwa and you get these towels, and these towels are things that like presents that you can give to your friends. So a deluxe pack, I think we're getting like like eight eight towels or eight uchiwa. Of course, it's not just for you. You can give them out to your friends or to your family members, and they're really nice to have, and it's a good memory. Um, I I remember when I was doing the the Kickstarter project for the the Hitchhiking Blu-ray uh, DVD, and I had a um, a package for three uh, Blu-rays, and a lot of people supported that, and they wanted the discs to give to family members or to give as gifts. So that's sort of what the deluxe package is. Here's the towel, and a lot of people have asked me about the length of it. So it's it's this I gotta I, I gotta go back even further. It's this length. You can see it's it's kind of longer. A longer towel. It's not a bath towel. If you go to the to the onsen, you, people will hold, the guys will hold it 
uh, in front of them or the or the ladies, you know, might cover up. It, it's not that big, yeah. But it, I, I put the dimensions of the towel in the rewards here. Um, it's really good. I, I don't like them when they're too thick because they take forever to dry. But this one is actually thicker than the ones that you would get at the onsen or the Japanese hot springs. This is a little bit thicker. And on the front, we're going to be having, um, I don't think the logo, but we might put only in Japan on here with a, with a pattern that I think will be really pleasing, a Japanese pattern on there. And it's, these are like one of these things you can, you can also wrap it around your head. I, I did this in, in a lot of my videos in the summertime. That's what people in Japan do to keep the sweat off of their faces. They'll wrap the towel around or you can just put it around here or you can do whatever you want with these towels and they're so useful in the summer. Um, if you're getting a solo pack, you get one. If you get uh, a couple, you get two. Family gets four and a deluxe, I think it's like eight or 10. Um, I can't remember the number, but um, it's, it, it's, uh, it's, it's really cool to have. So this is like Japanese summer essentials. So that's what's in those, in those rewards. Um, yeah, and they, they sent us uh, sample packs to, to take a look at all the stuff that they do, which is so cool. Um, that company's been really good, so I'm, I'm happy that we can support the local businesses through this. And um, I'm gonna go over and take, I see some of, we, we have 500 people watching. I'm gonna take some of your questions about the Kickstarter project. I think that's really important to keep a good back and forth as we're now in the, in the final two weeks of this, um, this uh, campaign to do a dream of mine and to help out some fireworks makers that didn't have a job this summer. Um, I connected it in the, in the Kickstarter project. This project was connected to history. I think I've said this a few times, but in 1733 was the start of the Sumida Fireworks Festival. And they launched up 20 fireworks into the sky over the Sumida River that year, following a famine that killed, according to historical records, about 900,000 people. Of course, it, it might be more, might be less. It's, it's hard to tell, but the, the record books say 900,000 people lost their lives. And um, I think it was like an insect infestation that happened in Shikoku that spread throughout the entire country, ruining the crops. Only 10% were salvageable, apparently. So a lot of people just didn't have the food. Um, it was a tough time, just like the world is now. And with all the fireworks festivals canceled, I thought it was a really good opportunity to start my own. And I've been working with the Japan Hanabi Association or the fireworks, Hanabi means fireworks in Japanese, to try to bring this to you in order to make professional grade fireworks. It's not something that a, an ordinary person like me uh, or a citizen like Kanai can order. You can't order firework shells. You have to, I don't know, you have to, there, there's a procedure. And the, the Hanabi Association has been really helpful to do this. And if it works out, we're gonna do this next year, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, this is very, very important. Um, thanks, I, I just saw that coming in here. Um, thanks so much for watching, uh, Spin Alicia MXO. Thanks for watching the videos for many years. Uh, as you know, I've started a new channel and I, maybe I'll address that at the end of this, but um, I'm really happy to be doing this Kickstarter project. And this information I'm about to tell you is kind of cool. I, I think I sort of mentioned it in the last update about the firework, fireworks project with the Japan Hanabi Association, um, Ide-san. Ide um, her company is ide -ya, but her name is Ide. I kept, the, I kind of made mistakes in that live stream. She's forgiving, thank you, Ide-san. But um, we, we talked about this on Tuesday and we're trying to come, over, come up with the plans on, on the best way to make the biggest impact with the money now that we have. Um, to do our own show in an open field, this is sort of the dream, right? To do our own show in our own open field and all this, the costs and the startup costs for something like this is really, really high. So before we even get to the fireworks, we're already um, paying for security measures and safety precautions and the fire department and all these other things. So we're going to be um, partnering up with um, Omagari, right? Can I? Omagari is a city up in Akita Prefecture, and I can announce the location to you too. Um, we're going to be um, working with them. So this will this does a couple of things. One, it reduces the cost so we can make more fireworks. And this was the whole point of this project, to try to put some people to work um, manufacture your own fireworks, also to give us some hope and have an event to look forward to in this really not good year that we've all been having. And um, this is the best way to do it. So I'm going to be going up in September. Kugatsu Ikujisho. 
in September to go up to Omagari to start the documentary and to start filming them producing the fireworks and discussing where the location of the fireworks is going to be. And I'm going to be taking you with me after this project completes live. Uh, I'll be putting sharing the link on the Kickstarter page so you have access to these special links as well as um, uh, supporters is mainly the target of this and those that have backed this documentary that I'm making on this whole project. Uh, I think the inside information, this inside um, over the next two months will just get you a little bit more excited, uh, which is what I'm looking forward to. Hey, Edo's here. Greetings from Holland, the Netherlands. We know where that is. Uh, I will join the project soon. Thank you, Edo. And I, 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 want, I appreciate you for holding off a little bit longer. So I wanna, a, a lot of people have been asking me about the poster. So now in this part of the uh, part of the live stream, I'm going to talk about the poster. So this is the this is something that's not in some of the rewards right now. We launched this when I was in Shiga Prefecture. The Japan Hanabi Association pushed the button maybe a little bit too early. Uh, that's okay because this is our first time doing this, and I didn't confirm the reward levels yet, and a lot of things were left out. For example. Um, uh, digital download and like a 4k video like like the wording of the rewards was not clear enough so when I got back from Shiga prefecture we had to um, write up new rewards and then limit the rewards that were um, on there the old rewards have been limited so they're sold out but when somebody leaves one of those limited rewards it opens up again so if you're wondering about these these second reward levels, do not pick the reward levels that are limited because that's the old reward levels. We cannot delete a level if there's a backer in it and we won't let we won't tell anybody to leave a level. But the two levels are the exact same. The prices didn't change for them at all. Then the prices didn't change at all. So like if you leave to go to the other level, um, if it gets down to zero, then I can delete it. But we can't do that once a project has become live. So it's caused a little bit of confusion, which is why I'm I'm going to be continuing uh, to talk about it. So it it doesn't make you're not as confused when you go into the Kickstarter and see t these levels. Um, so they're all s limited and sold out right now. But if somebody changes to another level, then it's going to open up again, which is uh, the next thing I want to talk to the posters. Now this is the poster, as I showed you. I'm gonna show you the poster as I talk about it on the other side. This is the poster, and a lot of people really want to have this as a poster size. Now if you get in the solo pack, the couple pack, the family pack, and the deluxe pack, you're also getting a postcard, which has this poster, right? You're also getting the Uchiwa, which, well this looks really good. You're also getting this fan, which also has the design on it. So both of these will have the, the poster on it. I don't know how we're going to get that to fit on there. That's going to be a, a tough job for Dakota, but we'll get it to work. But a lot of you still want to get the poster. So we're still thinking of ways to do that. And um, I know, it. I think it's part of the deluxe package, but it's not part of the solo couple and family package. It's a little bit confusing. So um, we're going to clear this up and see maybe we can put one in the packages or not. I think it has to do with the fact that the poster needs to JKO Adventures, yes, I know, very key day. Are you talking about Kanai? <laughs> she got the Kanai emoji. Yeah, so we're trying to find a way to do it because I think the, the, the problem is the costs of shipping it is different. If we roll it up and put it in a tube, then it's not the same price anymore. And um, since the Japan Hanabi Association is going to be sending all these rewards to you, except for the postcards, which I love to send out anyway. So it's going to be... Um, uh, them sending it out. So the, the price changes if we add the posters in those reward levels. So we're trying to find a way to do it that's not more confusing. But the deluxe package, I can tell you right now, has the poster in it. Uh, that's right. So that, that worked out okay with them. Um, if we fold it up and put it in the box, then the costs go down a little bit. And that might be something we can sneak sneak into all of the people supporting with the solo and the couple packs. But we still have to discuss that and, and make sure that uh, the costs work out okay. So just stay tuned on that. Probably by Tuesday night, we have another update on posters in the reward levels. But if you have a deluxe package, you will, you will receive a poster um, according to the, the budget and what we talked to with the Japan Hanabi Association. 
It's not just me. I learned my lesson in Kickstarter. Always have people helping you. So I have the Japan Hanabi Association helping me, and, that, and that's a really good thing. So um, the, re the posters and the other reward levels, we're still discussing it, and I think that we'll find a way to add that in there, or it'll be something that you can buy after the project at a minimal cost or something like this. We'll find a way to, to get you one if, if that's something you really want. But you're going to be getting the postcard and the Uchiwa fan anyways um, that has the poster design on it. Whew. It's a lot to talk about. The next thing I want to discuss is... Um, Okay, the, is the, the high level, the new level. We, we're we're going to be launching a new reward level, and I wanted to talk to you first before I launch it uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. This is the opportunity. I kind of teased it. It's an opportunity for you to buy your own Shakudama, which is a size 10. A size 10 firework is this big, okay? It's about this big. It's the size of a watermelon. These things are massive. They generate an amazing sound when they explode up into the sky. Um, these can be purchased now. This is part of the stretch goal. This was not possible before, before we were funded, all right? This, is, this was not possible. This is possible after we've gotten funded. So what I'm gonna be doing, I discussed this with the Japan Hanabi Association. How do we make the biggest impact with how do we make the biggest impact with the money that we've received from you to help people, I'm trying to light down a little bit, to help the, help people who, who are affected by this project? What can we do with the money to help the communities? And um, instead of putting all of the money into the one show and creating more fireworks in Omagari, we're going to be putting um, some money into Katakai, which is where you saw the um, 420 kilogram fireworks episode. Do you remember that one? That's like bigger than a child. The thing is massive. It was, um, although we didn't see it go off last year, maybe I'll get a chance to see it next year. Um, but the relationship that I have with um, the team over in Katakai is very, very strong. And I, I have a good affection, a, a big affection to, to that family, to the Honda family. Um, I really, I really like, I really like the guy. I, you know, how, how could you not like this guy? I asked him, I said, are you an artist or are you a creator? He goes, no, I'm an executive. <laughs> that was the best line. And since then, that episode has gone on to what, like 6 million views or something. But uh, I, I think that it'd be pretty cool if we can use this project and support um, what he's doing and buy some, some, buy some of the big ones. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity to buy a Shakudama, which again is this big, made by Honda-san's company in Katakai. This is huge, literally it's huge, it's like this big, it's massive. And um, these number 10 fireworks are too big to, to launch in Tokyo. You cannot launch these in Tokyo, you can't even launch them in suburban Japan. You have to go out to the countryside, that's how big they are. There are laws that, that prevent it. And probably you don't see these shakudamas being launched um, in New York City or, or other urban areas in the United States. They're that big. And um, the cost for it is about, is, um, what is it, Juma, Juma yen, Juma and Gosen yen. It's about a, a 100,000 yen, which is under $1,000. It's expensive. It's ex I told you, fireworks are not cheap. This massive firework shell is expensive, but um, I'm gonna be putting this reward up tonight before I go to bed, it, uh, which is like in an hour. You, you will be able to buy your own Shakudama, and on that Shakudama, if you wanna write a message, on, I will write it, the message on there for you, or if you wanna send me a letter or a sticker or anything, I will be able to put that onto your firework, and then it will be filmed and launched into the sky, and you'll get a copy of that that you can put on social media. Um, your channel, if, you, if you're a YouTuber or your company or an organization, we will shout out your company's organization and give you uh, a credit for the firework that you have purchased and sponsored. And you will get uh, a video from different angles. And I believe, I believe we also will be sending you a empty shell, an empty firework shell as a gift. I don't know if it's a number three or a number four, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit smaller. You'll receive a real empty shell. It's, I don't know if that's exciting or not. Is that exciting? I don't know. It's, there's nothing inside of it, but it's taped up as though it were a firework shell. That's, 
I guess you can put that on your mantle and they put a stamp on it so you have it as a memory, okay? So you, not, you get the videos and you get the, the, you get the um, empty shell and I think we give you a uh, couples pack, couple or solo, dochi? Couples pack? Couples? Couples pack, shakudama setto. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we give you the couples pack in there as well. And if you want the family pack or the deluxe pack too, um, you, can, you can talk with us and we'll see what we can do to try to, to add that in there. But we're just gonna keep it as that simple package. And if you wanna do something more with that, just give us to contact us and we'll see what we can do. Um, because the thing is, if you back, you can only use one email address to back. So you have to start another account to back two tiers. And that's such a pain in the neck. So we're trying to find ways to make it easier for everybody. So that means we have not one, but two events going on. And that's crazy. Cause I didn't think that, I did, first of all, I didn't think we'd get one event. I didn't know if this would, this would, we'd be able to generate the money, but we did. And then when the opportunity came to work with Katakai, I'm like, yes, please. The other thing that, so now we have two events. So I, I'm gonna be filming on October 10th is the date. Um, the Omagari Fireworks Festival live. I'm gonna do a live stream and bring you there. And inside of that, we're going to have an only in Japan amazing um, movement of fireworks. Uh, and I'm going to film them creating and producing this. And uh, that'll be live streamed to you for everybody actually. And the, the very quickly after that, I'm gonna work hard within a month if I can to deliver you the 4K video for those that are backing that. Um, I, want, I want to show you the Japanese fireworks in a way that you've never seen it before. It's just, it's just super exciting when you, when you think about manufacturing them and then, and, then, and then launching them up in the sky and seeing them explode in our name. It's pretty cool. Uh, after that, uh, probably... I think Katakai mara kimete nai desho. So I think like in two weeks or so, I'll go back up to Katakai and do another live stream, I think and show you the, the second uh, fireworks festival. So because of the stretch goal, I get to, to stretch out the amount of videos that you get too. So we're gonna be able to see our fireworks launched up. Um, for those of you that have sponsored it, uh, you will be able to see yours live and you're gonna get a video uh, later uh, sent to you with the fireworks show. So that's the second fireworks and that's gonna be included into the documentary as well. So. We got, we got a lot of stuff going on here and you're gonna see the big fireworks being manufactured and the little ones and not just one manufacturing company, but two now. And I think that that's good because we're spreading the money around between Akita Prefecture and to uh, Niigata Prefecture, Katakais and Niigata. And so it's a good thing. I will take some questions now. And yes, that is fireworks on my LG TV behind me. Jeff Ang, thank you so much. Uh, John, I can't wait to see the package gift in the mail couples pack. Thank you, Jeff, for supporting that. That's awesome. Much appreciated. The next live stream will probably be tomorrow morning. I don't know. I'm live streaming all the time. Uh, Jake writes in here, I just noticed the screensaver in the background. Very smart. <laughs> that, I didn't do that. LG did that. LG did that. Thank you so much, Jake. Uh, Bradshaw Studio, always thank you. Uh, uh, Jason 3000 from Switzerland. Hi, John. There will be a higher tiers. Will there be a higher tier than the 25,000 yen super deluxe fireworks pack? Um, I could, so I could upgrade. Greetings from Switzerland. Yes, these, the upgrade for that would be the uh, sponsoring your own Shakodama. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. And if, if you, if you still want to keep that super deluxe pack, just, um, uh, get in touch with me, and if you, if anybody who who sponsors the Shakudama, um, get in touch with me, and then we'll try to try to um, uh, customize it a little bit more. The thing I want to point out is that a lot of you have been asking me um, when do I give you my address? When do I write um, write your name for the credits and things like this? At the end of this project, I will be sending you a survey. The survey comes to your email that you've been you, you've gotten. If you're getting the the um, updates or the notifications about this project, that's where the survey is going to be going, and it's very important that you answer that survey. That that um, that's where you enter in your address as well as give um, uh, any kind of requests that you want for this project. 
And I might add in a couple more things for information, like uh, do you want uh, something signed or something like this? Um, that'll all be in the survey. And if you have any questions on that, by all means in the comments, just keep sending questions. Uh, I'm trying to check that as much as possible, but um, Nina, an assistant who's helping out with the project, is also answering some of the questions. Kanai has been monitoring them and, and letting me know when there's some really important questions that affects the community. So um, we will get, get to you as soon as possible with that information. Um, thanks for asking that, by the way. Um, the, the Shakodama sponsoring you on Firework in Japan is, is something that was requested by uh, a couple other supporters. Um, I kind of teased that, that that might be possible, and there was an interest in it. So that's opened up this whole um, second Fireworks project. Um, by the way, if... All right, should I tell them about Mindstar? Yeah, Mindstar. All right, okay. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. I, didn't, I don't know if anyone's going to back this, all right? I'm just gonna put it out there. I didn't, I didn't even think I was gonna bring this up. I'm getting hot. All right, for people that are super backers, um, if you really, really, really love fireworks, this is up to you. Um, there's a movement called the Mindstar. In Nambun Gorai Kakara, like one minute, right? Mindstar. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're not, well, I'm gonna put a link into the description of this. A Mindstar costs um, 350,000 yen. A mind star is not just one firework. It's a bunch of fireworks. It's a movement of fireworks. And there's one shakodama mo haitari shou. Shakodama hitotsu. So you get one big shakodama and you get a bunch of like a movement. And uh, that costs uh, 350,000 yen, which is about $3,300. And uh, if you buy this package, <laughs> we will send you a deluxe with your Mindstar package, you'll be getting like everything. That's like the super, super, like I'm, I really love Japan, Japanese fireworks project. Um, a Mindstar and you will have your own Mindstar and we will put anything that you want on the, on a star mine, star mine, Mindstar, star mine. Sorry. It's called a star mine. That is, um, 2000, uh, $3,300. This is the, the, the most expensive thing that you can sponsor. And it's insane, I know, but I think it's really cool too. And you will be putting a lot of people to work to create this. I think it, it, I think there's some music. Sometimes they can be coordinated to music, um, but that's something we can discuss. And if you do back something of this size, then um, I please give me, please contact me. I will get in touch with you, and we can discuss about customizing it. Um, we do reserve the rights to reject. If you have something that is um, like, a, I, I, I have to say this, this is a reason why I haven't released it before. If it's a hateful thing or something that is uh, um, mean spirited or disagreeable, we have the right to reject um, what you want to sponsor for the fireworks. So we're not just going to slap on a symbol that, that you know, promotes hatred and things like this. We want to keep it non-political, non-religious and, and very, uh, on key, if you have like a YouTube channel, if you have a, something that you want to sponsor, we will launch up this firework in Japan for you and slap your your uh, logo on the side of, I will even hold it up and take a picture of it so you know that this is yours and it will go up and you'll receive that. Um, so, you know, you, no, no problems whatsoever. They've been doing this for a while now, the uh, katakai in order to try to, to generate money but I thought that this would be good if, if the Only Japan community uh, puts the money for the stretch goal into helping our friends over at Katakai. Um, build some goodwill, and maybe we'll be back again to film someday, because I think that that's, that's an amazing place for fireworks. Thanks for asking that. Uh, Edo, thank you so much. Uh, Tor Toro Porco, thank you for giving us something to look forward to. Thank you so much for backing that. You're from Canada, wonderful. Uh, Mayor Hogland, can't wait to see the, emo the amazing so amazing here, 10 green wants for you, gray fat for Kanai, thank you. I think I, I understand that. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Um, the support has been amazing and it's made us feel really, really good because um, like, I don't know, this is still a dream of mine as a kid to be able to fire up fireworks. I don't know, know if they're gonna give me the lighter to launch, to light it. I'm not even sure how they, they launch it up but we're going to figure this all out, and that's what makes it pretty exciting. Um, glad made it to your live. Welcome. Welcome. Um, is that a real plant? 
I, I carry this in the background because it's, it's just kind of, it's nice to have something green. I've had plants in, before, but they, they all kind of don't make it. Um, this one's real. That's real. I like, I'm just having fun. I'm just basically having fun. Uh, Isoko, how you doing? This is live. I'm reading these here. Lisa Rodriguez, greetings from Puerto Rico. I'm really happy for your firework project and I know it's going to bring a lot of joy um, to people around the world. Can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Um, it's, you know what? It's just so cool that we can do this and bring Japanese, Japan to you, like a Japanese event to you that we created. To me, it's just so cool. Whether you're in Puerto Rico, you're in, you're in uh, Europe, you're in Australia, you're in India, everyone is gonna be able to see this because the live stream is free for everybody. I think this documentary is gonna be really, really interesting. Um, I'm gonna teach you some things about Japanese fireworks that I didn't know about until a couple of months ago. Things that I've been learning about the process, things that I learned last year when I made the documentary. Um, you're gonna love this documentary. I think it's so worth supporting. And that's basically, that's the reason why I really wanted to do this too. That's one of the many reasons. So there's like, I don't know how many, so one is because I wanna make a documentary on the Japanese fireworks. The other one is because I wanna put some people to work because everyone's been affected by this. The other one is I want something to look forward to this year because this has been kind of a crappy year. The other one is that uh, um, I just had this childhood dream to launch fireworks in the sky at this massive size. Cause I've always only had bottle rockets. I've never had anything this size. We're gonna, we're gonna launch fireworks this big. Who does that? I don't know. To me, it's just, I don't know, it's like a dream come true, truly. Um, those matters are private, and it is best to avoid that for now. Thank you, Jim. Japan is a nice place with a lot of nice people. I want to go there after this. Yeah, uh, thanks, John, for creating this. Please do come back to Japan. I'm, I'm not liking being around and not seeing any foreign visitors, anybody. It's so, it's so quiet, and it's kind of sad, actually. When, it, we, when I ride my bicycle around Tokyo and it's just empty. And I think that people here really are, are, are missing you guys too. So hopefully in 2021, you, you can all com come back. And until then, I'm gonna be here um, bringing you Japan. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the Earth Ceremony, which just took place the last three days. I was online chatting and watching on my TV right there, uh, supporting the, the Kodo uh, Taiko group. And WX Turbo's here, I see that. and. Um, uh, I have a video that I'm gonna be uploading probably next week. I was gonna upload it this morning, but I held off on it because I wanna give Kodo a little bit of time. They're so busy this week. Uploading this would just create, I don't know, it, it, that, like it, it makes sense to just wait a little bit after we talked about it um, together. So this video will probably be going up uh, sometime next week. In the meantime, I'm editing in the next video, which is like an earthquake safety video. In case there's an earthquake in Tokyo, what do you do? So um, I've been, I, I filmed this um, a while ago, so this is something I'm probably gonna upload in the meantime. I also have an Omi Beef Farm to Table episode that I'm gonna be uploading uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks as well as a samurai episode, a historical episode that I filmed when I was in Kanazawa um, answering the questions about samurai culture. That's one of the, been one of the most asked about episodes about um, the Bushi, Bushido, and the samurai culture, and Kanazawa is the best place to learn about samurai history, I thought, because we met some masters and museums that allowed us access to get the story and e examine some of that history from 400 years ago. It was really, really exciting. Um, let's see here, just caught the bit of the Kodo Festival. Yes, Ranjit, I'm so happy you did that. That's, there's, you know, when I hear the taiko drums, it just hits me in here, and for the rest of the year, I feel all this energy. It's different when you watch it. I don't think I got the same buzz as I do when you when you when it's in front of you, like in person. But it was it's it's pretty good because uh, all the other performances were canceled, and this was a pretty good. This is a pretty good. Um, the the effort was very well appreciated. Let's just say that, and it was a pretty good second. I don't know. I still wish that I, I, I was there to listen to them in person, but that's what next year is for. Uh, when you walk around, it's as if I'm there too. Sheena, thank you. I, you are, you know why? Because you are there. I believe like, like fully in my strange imagination. I get an imagination of a kid because I used to teach kids. Um, 
<laughs> we would have fun in those lessons too. The, uh, I, I, I believe that you're with me, like even now. And that's, that's sort of, I don't know, it's important for me that you're here too. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it wouldn't be the same if you weren't, Sheena. If, if you all weren't here, it wouldn't be the same. Not, yeah. Um, Irvon is here. There's quite a few of us that miss Japan. Ah, Irvon, that's, you know, I, I'll, I'll keep bringing you with me. Tomorrow, I'm, or not tomorrow, this week, I'm, I'm going to be going to another location shoot uh, and take you with me again, show you a new area of Tokyo, maybe one that I haven't showed you before. Um, I got I to gotta keep with filming here. And uh, Guillermo, Daniel, greetings from Argentina. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so um, waiting for Argentina to open up airmail again because we have a couple of backers in Argentina and Brazil for that matter. Airmail is not started again. I want to send the uh, postcards there. Thank you so much for the support. That's awesome. That's so kind. Sometimes we go places, right? It's in here. John, just donated the Kickstarter. Any plans to incorporate Kodo into the fireworks display? That would be super cool. I didn't think about that. Um, maybe I don't, I, okay. I talk with Kodo, um, in a live stream on this channel. Thank you. This is a great suggestion. It makes my imagination start to think, uh, they are on an Island in Niigata. Katakai is in Niigata. So I wonder if anybody can come on the ferry across to Katakai and maybe bring some drums. That would be pretty cool. Wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box here. They're both in the same prefecture, Sato Island and Katakai. So maybe, I don't know. But the thing is they, they are in a, um, the Sado Island is pretty much locked down because they're on an island. If they were to get um, COVID, it would be a really big problem in their island. So they, and their team, because they, they practice together. As long as they, they don't separate, they stay together and they don't leave Sado Island. They're not going to get, uh, they're not gonna be in, uh, in affected by the uh, pandemic, right? They're on an island. So it's going to be hard this year, but I'll ask. You never know. Ask, because you never know what will happen. Could be something good. Could be something good. Um, Gaijin Oto-san, thank you for that. I'll put that to good use, as I almost always do. So there you have it. Um, the, the rewards for the Shakudama and the Mind Star will go up tonight before I go to bed. The Mind Star is very, very pricey, um, but you will be you will be happy with what they prepare for you. Let me just put it like this. Honda-san and his team are gonna prepare it for you. That's the, the creator of the world's biggest firework, uh, the 420 kilogram firework. His team's gonna prepare this for you. So you're, you're, getting, you're getting something pretty amazing. And um, like we didn't, we're, we're not really adding in anything extra into these prices. It's the, the the money is going to the manufacturers to, to help them and um, just to cover costs, transport costs for me to get there. That's all like baked into the price. So it's a little bit more, but um, a lot of it is, is just uh, going to the manufacturers. Cause I think that's important uh, um, to be very transparent with that. I will definitely be backing this now. Thank you, Will Richie. Will's in, Will's in Scotland, I believe, right? Here in the Philippines, we launch our fireworks in front of our own houses during New Year for good luck. That's awesome. Je Gemma, but are the fireworks in the Philippines this big? Can you get a ball this big? Because that's, 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 all what, that's what this is about. There's, I'm a madman. I'm a madman. When I saw those fireworks and they said to me that I can have those, I can touch them, I can hold them, and I can launch them. That to me is everything. It's the dream. It, it's, what, what kid, all right, you gotta, if you're 12 years old and you're a boy and someone gives you a Roman candle and says, hold this, and you're not supposed to hold Roman candles, by the way. Is it not, not, not your dream to like, what's, what's bigger than a Roman candle? What's bigger than that? What's bigger than that? There's nothing that gets bigger than this. This is it. This is it. And we're doing it. Um, Kodo as a, let's see here. Kodo as a soundtrack for the 4K video. That's a, a possible, possible. I will ask them. I'll ask them if that's something we can add in there. Maybe. We'll see. That'd be pretty cool. Because it combines Japanese traditional culture with Japanese traditional culture, right? 
Shane from Canada, how you doing up there? Nice to see you again. And Robert Denhart, how you doing? Five bugs for the takoyaki. Oh, five bucks, okay. <laughs> um, can I get cravings sometimes? And she says, I want takoyaki and I have to get on my bicycle and ride over there to get her some. So, this is part of the job. Part of my responsibilities being at home. Uh, what is your favorite movie? What is this turning into 20 questions? I don't know. Braveheart and Babe, 1995. Amazing year for movies. Uh, I was rooting for, for Babe to be best picture, but Braveheart won and I was not sad. Both of them were, were really good. Those two movies were amazing. One of them is violent, the other one is, is, is the opposite. And it, to me, those two balance out. I love those two. Thanks for asking about that. Um, James Bond. I love all the James Bond movies. I have the entire set in on Blu-ray, not the 4K one, but the Blu-ray ones, and and that's uh, was on sale, so I bought them all. And it, I love the Bond movies. I'm reading um, the um, uh, "You Only Live Twice" by Ian Fleming, the book, not the movie. I'm reading the book, and the book is so different than the movie with Sean Connery. It's kind of an interesting to to read that and how Ian Fleming saw Japan back in the 1960s when he wrote the book. Um, the books that Ian Fleming wrote, if you've already watched the James Bond movies, read the books because they're, they're different, but you don't picture Sean Connery and you don't picture Roger Moore when you read them. You picture somebody different, and that's interesting. It's a whole new take on James Bond, um, reading the books. And they're on print on demand from um, Amazon, but you can get them as digital downloads on, your, on a Kindle or something. Been here for 23 years. Will Ritchie writes in, don't fold the poster. That's why there there's, might be extra cost involved because to get the cylinder and then the postage. Um, I'm, Will, I'm, I'm really glad that you brought that up too. I also want to say that um, uh, the the date for you to receive the, the, the rewards, we've written it as December to give us leeway in case there's something that's happened. Um, I believe very strongly that airmail will be back. And they'll, we'll be able to send this to you by airmail. If you're in Germany, if you're in Europe, there are there's airmail packages are okay. Um, DHL and U, UPS are extremely expensive, it, like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars to send packages abroad with that. So we have to rely on Japan Post because we don't have a corporate account. So that means um, uh, if we can't send it airmail, then there's a chance we have to send it by C, and C mail takes two months. So that's why um, we're, we're trying to very hard to ship this up by airmail. Again, this is two months in advance, but if there's any way that we can send it by airmail and get that to you, we're going to be doing that as soon as possible. If not, we're going to send it very, very quickly to you so you get it before Christmas. And this is something I have to be extremely transparent about. We don't know the situation and how we can, we can send you the rewards, but um, this is probably, um, one of the options for Australia and the United States right now. That's the situation right now. And we're hoping that in, in uh, two months, it's different. Um, the mail now to the United States, the postcards are taking less than a week. So I figured that they're gonna be changing the US back to e receive airmail air air mail packages soon, I believe. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident on that. Australia, I'm not quite sure about. But Singapore and um, the U.S., uh, Singapore and Europe and uh, Canada have all been doing airmail, so that's that hasn't changed. But I know in the U.S., it takes about seven weeks to get the C mail packages. So I'm just saying, um, to be completely transparent, we don't know for sure if if it's going to be airmail sent, but we will send them um, as soon as possible so they all arrive before Christmas, before December. And the video will, will be a digital download, so you, that arrives when it arrives. I'm all, also seeing if we can add in like a digital calendar as well. I, I kind of want to give you more perks and not not um, raise the price, but raise the value of what you've already bought. So we'll, we'll try to find some ways to say thank you. I might put some stickers in there as well. Um, I've redone the Only in Japan logo, which um, I've been working on for quite a while. Let me see if I get a copy of it. Oh, it's on this... It's on this um, do I? Oh, it's on this. It's on this telephone. I've redone the Only in Japan logo again, which looks pretty pretty neat. 
So you, I might put some stickers in, in the pack for, for backers. Little, little teeny Easter eggs might be in your, uh, things that you didn't expect might be in the package. I'm not sure. Drymon stickers, perhaps. I don't know. But um, that'd be fun. My favorite hobby during the quarantine, since the quarantine is over, I don't know. Indoor camping was pretty fun, I gotta say. A bumper sticker, maybe. A magnet. I like the magnets, maybe, you can put in your refrigerator. That'd be pretty cool to put the put the poster, the design for the it on a magnet that you could put in your refrigerator. I think that'd be pretty neat to do. Um, I, I do want to work with Dakota, the artist. Um, did you finally sell the G... Irvon, I will never sell the GH5. I will build around it. All right, Irvon? I will, I will build around the GH5, a Sony infrastructure right now, but the A7S III has been ordered, okay? It's been pre-ordered, so um, I will build around it. And, and around that is Frosty, yes, Mal. Frosty is, is always gonna be part of the package. King Wong writes in here, will there be an exclusive merch that will sell uh, this big Kaboom project? King, I'm glad that you asked about that. And yes, I will be, I, I, this is what I was talking about before Ravon, um politely asked about the GH5. I love the poster that Dakota made. In fact, his artwork is so inspirational, the way that he makes it, he, and he does it all digitally. Um, I would love to work with him a little bit more. And um, the design that he made is perfect to put on a t-shirt. And I think it's something that we can talk about and see if when we start a merch store, which is inevitable, by the way, um, I think that that having t-shirts with this design that the the um, fireworks festival on the back and maybe only in Japan fireworks festival on the front here would be a pretty cool t-shirt. Um, the design is, is the design is kind of busy, so I don't think that's something you can put on the front, but it would look really sweet on the back, right? Here, take a look. So we might put that on the back and then put this here on the front, um, maybe just in English, and that'd be a pretty cool t-shirt, I think. Um, Dakota's, I, you know what I will do is, is in the Kickstarter project and on Discord, I'll share Dakota's Instagram page and you can take a look at his work. It's really good. And um, I'm surprised. I was really, when I got the work, I was really surprised how good it was. I was, I was happy. Let's just say that nobody is complaining at all. We're very, pr I'm very happy with, with uh, this design. It's just, and the fact that he put us in there so perfectly. Uh, I do look a little bit older than I thought I would. Daijubu Kana, you like your picture in this? I, I think, it. really? Yeah. I, don't you think I look a little bit too old? I don't know. Like, I look, I got some wrinkles in there. I have a wrinkle too. You, actually, yeah, you got a little wrinkle. Yeah, but it seems like me. That does look like you. <laughs> I don't know, it's, I look like, like Bruce Willis with hair a little bit. I don't know. No English, please, writes in Stanley. All right, Stanley, I don't, we don't have to, we can do it authentic. I think maybe authentic is better. Uh, maybe we don't need English in there. I don't know. I, he could have made me look a little younger. I'm only 46. Right. John, you do look old. What? Isoko, you do look old. Hey, I'm not that old. I look pretty good for 46. I, I, do sh I probably should dye my hair, maybe put a little black color in there, but it's not too bad. I don't worry about it. Uh, Fang is here for good live streams. Thank you, Fang. I appreciate that very much. And Wowie BC is an insider. I have an insider guide coming. I've been working on it on my computer um, this weekend, and I'll have that about the Shiga Prefecture coming really soon. So that's a new insider guide that I put in for, for the backers on insiders. Um, is there a camera making John's hair look silver? No, that could be this light. I don't know. It's silver. What time is it in Japan? You're asking me what time it is in Japan. There's a clock right there. I don't know. It's sometimes answering questions, it's, it's hard. It's 120. Eh, it's 1.30. Oh yeah. Ma you can go to bed. <laughs> Anyways, it's 1.30. I wanna say thanks so much for watching. Leave him alone. <laughs> thanks for the support. Um, so there you have it. This is the towel. We will have our design on it, but this is the one that they sent us. So 
you will get one that looks like this and you will be able to send me pictures like this. So you can pose in your living room wearing a Japanese towel head um, to keep the sweat out of your eyes. I like to do this um, because it's sort of fashionable. Maybe put the Only in Japan logo on top, you know? Pe helicopters will be able to tell you're an Only in Japan supporter. Uh, it's, is it a towel or a bandana? It's everything. What do you call these Japanese towel? Nan to you kore? Uh, tenugui. Tenugui? So there's a name for it. You can use these for different kinds of things. A lot of people use these for um, uh, in the bath when you take a ta uh, bath at a sento or an onsen. These are good for wrapping around your head so the sweat doesn't get into your face and, and, and burn your head, especially dudes w with um, uh, a little bit less hair like me. I'm getting, uh, I can get sunburned up here a little bit. Um, the towel is good in, um, um, for spills. It's good to, it's, it's always good to have a towel like this, but it's so convenient. That's why the size is great. You can wrap things in it. You can wrap a, uh, a bento inside of it and you can carry the bento in it. So there's a lot of things that you can do with these towels. You can actually even, right? You can actually just use these as art. I've seen that people buy these and put them on their wall as like tapestry looking things. So I think that that's also an option that you can do um, with these uh, towels. Uh, these are the Uchiwa, and these are the ones that are backed. Uh, they're made out of plastic. Uh, they're, they're pretty standard here in Japan, but they will have the artwork on the front and some information on the back, just like it was a fireworks festival. I want this. I want you to feel like you're getting you're part of this fireworks festival, and when you watch the 4K video on your TV, you can put your blue sheet on your living room floor, and get out your uchiwa and towel, and get a cold beer and get some edamame, and you can watch the fireworks show. That's my dream. It's gonna come true. I've been planning to do it, do it, but I have been overwhelmed with work, which is not a bad thing. Thank you, UFO Bob. I don't think that was directed to me. Uh, it's actually mid-morning. I'm looking at any last questions here. Print the poster on the towel. Uh, Lawrence, the, the poster is kind of busy. This is the problem. We've been talking about this. The poster's kind of busy. So I think it'd be hard to put all of that on the towel, but we could do it. But I don't know if it's gonna look that great because it's kind of too busy. Um, is there a package for couples? There is, Ari. We have a couples pack, so you get two of everything. We have a solo pack, couples pack, family pack, deluxe pack. The, there you have it. Um, I will give you another update on Kickstarter when the reward tiers are up tonight before I go to bed, which is like very, very soon. I'm gonna put the Shakudama and the um, um, Mind Star, Star Mind, Mind Star, which Star is, Mind. yeah. And I hope that this explanation helps. I really appreciate the, the back and forth with you guys to, to uh, discuss any question that you have. Uh, once again, ask, ask, ask away in the comments on Kickstarter. And if there's a question a lot of people ask, I put it in the FAQ, Facts Answers Questions, so that you can uh, all don't have to an ask the same questions over and over again. Like, how big are the towels? And um, what is an Uchiwa? And um, like, What's the difference between a digital download and a 4K? I think I've answered them in the, in the um, uh, FAQ. And if you haven't backed yet, back, back soon, because once the project is over, it's over, all right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna resurrect this project again. It's over once it's over. That's a, I think that's an expression. So let me just check in here. How much, how much have we made here? All right, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we have back to, we have here, once it's over, it's over. We have um, 3.5, almost 3.6 million yen out of 2.5. So we've already, we've got 13 days to go, everybody. And I have uh, 86 comments. Oh my gosh. Do I get an answer on those? Yeah. So there you go. That's it. And it is um, 1.33 in the morning right now. So this is that, this is it for me. Um, 517 backers. Awesome. 
That's wonderful. Let's see if we can get this up to four million. That, that'd be really cool. Um, my goal is still five million, but I'll be happy with four. Um, anybody who buys a Mindstar, that'll pretty much put us over that anyways. Uh, TDSTR writes in here, please use the money to hire Koto drummers to perform at the Fire Race Festival. Thank you. The problem is though that they're on quarantine and they can't leave the island. That's the problem. Um, but I would love to bring them in and, and we would have the budget to invite them over. I might see, maybe we can get some Taiko drummers from Akita Prefecture to play. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we can discuss this, but Kodo is on an island and they're very um, locked down there right now. But we would love to invite, invite our friends of Kodo to, do, to perform there too. And I'm sure they would love to perform as well because they've had all of their performances canceled this year. All of them. They were in Europe when the COVID-19 uh, broke, when Italy was really um, in a bad situation. They were in that area and they had to, to fly back to Japan and it was really hard for them because they had all their crew and all of their equipment with them. Um, and this hit them really, really hard. And today in the live stream on Earth Ceremony, uh, Yui was in tears. She was crying um, when she thinks about all the hard work that they did this year. They worked really hard to practice for all of these performances and they were all canceled the entire year. And Earth Celebration this past weekend was a way for them to perform and to uh, show off all the stuff that they were rehearsing. And that made them feel so good. And thank you to all of you that took time to watch them um, because their YouTube channel is new. They don't have the kind of support that we have here. But I believe that they had a really successful uh, Earth Ceremony uh, celebration considering yeah, always take care of your friends. And Kodo is a friend of the channel and uh, you know they take care of me too, invite me to special events and stuff like this. And I'm, I'm so thankful for the friendship that we have. It's good to have friends, right? You gotta, you gotta have, keep, your, keep your friends close, your enemies closer. Who said that? Uh, Nova documentary was a huge insight. Yes, Marty, Marty. The video that I made shows the daily life of Kodo drummers in their training center. And I went at, s before seven in the morning, I woke up at like five. I drove to the training center. I never wake up at five. Usually that's when I'm going to bed. And I watched them wake up and cook breakfast and their day, their routine, uh, to get an idea of how hard they work and they work hard. And uh, I wanted to give you insight into, the, into their lives as well as show you how they live and that gives special meaning when you watch them perform. Kodo is the biggest brand, um, I don't know, biggest taiko group, most well-known taiko group in Japan, I think. Uh, Goku is another band that I love. Uh, they, they play taiko, Goku, G-O-C-C-O-O, -O -O. Um, Kaori-san, and um, that, the, the group, that's also a very friendly group, and I know them, I know them as well. Um, but Kodo is like a, such a traditional group on Sato Island, I, I shouldn't say traditional. They're, they're, they're really amazing performers and they're a really close group and they love Sato Island and they love Japan. And what I do is promote Japan. So there's like a natural friendship, I think, with what they do and what I do. Perhaps Koto is remote live streamed on a projector on the screen at the festival so they can stay safe and healthy. There's a lot of things that I think they can do. Um, so next year is gonna be a lot of fun. Remember the take Remember to take Greg with you without festival. Um, Greg, La Greg Lamb from Life Where I'm From. I think it's going to be Greg Lamb. I don't know. I, why am I, t I shouldn't be talking about this, but Greg and I have been talking for a long time. This pandemic's ruining me. Greg and I will be doing a, a collaboration, and I can't tell you exactly, but we're going to be renting a car and traveling together and making an episode. And we've been talking about this very seriously for the last couple of months, but actually for like over a year, we've been trying to do a collaboration together. The, the, th the reason why you don't see more like YouTubers, especially ones with very successful channels collaborating more, scheduling. It is very, very hard to get people at the same time in the same place to, to make an episode together. That's probably the biggest thing. The second thing is that um, a lot of, a lot of YouTube creators that are successful don't really see the value in doing collaborations. Um, but Greg and I do very similar, I wouldn't say similar, Greg's style is, our styles, we put a lot of love in our videos, let's say, and we love Japan very much. So we will be making this happen. 
um, where we take you on an adventure and share it with our channels. Greg's channels is much bigger than mine now because um, I had to start over. But um, that's the, the size of the channel does not matter. Our communities are awesome and uh, we are good friends. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to do that. Um, do you have to do any promo artwork for the festival? I, they're so busy. I'm glad that you asked about them. Um, Arthel and, and Henry, the two uh, pr managers f at um, Arthel being the owner, and uh, Henry, um, one of the managers, I'm not sure exactly what Henry's position is, but he's, he's definitely pretty high up there. They're so busy right now. They don't have time to do, to do this artwork and to do um, things like this, but um, they're going to be, um, we're gonna tweak the animated opening a little bit, all right? We're gonna tweak the animated opening a little bit and I'm gonna put in the new logo, the Only in Japan logo in there as well. Kind of, I, I kind of altered the logo again. So, and Peter kind of, um, Peter changed the the, um, the Arashai Mase in the animated opening a little bit. So we tweaked it a little bit to make it better based on your feedback um, and D-Art Stagio's um, desire to get it perfect. They wanna get it perfect. Uh, so, um, we're gonna get an, give it another go. So you're gonna see an evolution in the animated opening as well. Big, big thank you to DR Stagio. Love them. They're so kind to to make the opening. It took a long time, but um, it, it's an amazing opening, isn't it? Um, it's a it's a it's a precious thing for the channel. It was so precious to have a DR Stagio. It's like they're to me they're like Ghibli. Okay, what they do with animation to me is like Ghibli. And, and hanging out with Arthel is like hanging out with Miyazaki uh, Hisao, right? It's, it's like he's president of this really successful animation studio. When I first met him, they were just a startup, and now they're so big. It's, it's impressive. Yeah. Happy for, for all their success. All right, guys, there you go. There's an hour update. I really appreciate um, all the new members that we got here as well. Um, who, who do we got here? Uh, Noah, welcome to the Travelers. Thank you. And uh, Katrina Johnson, welcome. Katrina, I think I put, I just put, is this, is this Katrina from Minnesota? I, I just put uh, a postcard in, in the mail for somebody with a, with a similar name. Thanks everybody so much for the support. Um, I will, hello. I will, I will be um, taking your questions about this project. This is something very dear to my heart. And since I had to start over the Only in Japan uh, brand on my own now, this is, you have to go big or go home. You have to do something outside of the box. You have to do projects like this. You have to continuously do something that inspires yourself, all right? You have to do something bigger than life. So expect more, I don't think they're gonna be Kickstarters, but expect me to take on some projects that are bigger than life. Because I've always wanted to use this platform to do something that didn't just you know, help me and but and help my friends, but help my community. And if that's something that we can do and we can do it successfully like we have with this campaign, I'm gonna do it more and more. And that's what's really special about this community, the Only in Japan community. And I cannot say thank you enough for all of the kindness um, and the support that we've been receiving. Um, it means the world to me and to, to the community that we live in. Thank you. Um, so be safe and stay well. Thank you, Jimmy. And uh, everybody, have a good night. Have a good day. Enjoy your Sunday if you're in the United States. Our Monday already started. Um, so I'll bring you another live stream tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Hey, Eddie, Eriko. Well, look, you guys, give me super chats. Thank you, John. Thank you for all the hard work. When the borders open, I'm planning to travel throughout Japan for three months. P.S. I'm looking forward to the great collaboration. Thank you, Eriko from Australia and Kevin Rutley. Hi from Halifax. Kevin, up there in Halifax. We were just talking... Um, that's so far up north. We'd love to come to visit Halifax sometime. That's great. Welcome and thank you so much for that. Have a good night, everybody. A good day and I'll see you again tomorrow.